in this video i would like to share to you how to solve a very simple problem in maxima and minima which involves the numbers by the way maxima and minima is one of the applications in differential calculus now before we proceed to the problem um there's a suggestion to better understand or analyze maxima minima problems. So you are given the following steps as a guide so that your solution will be systematic. Okay. So the first step is to draw a figure if necessary. So if necessary, kapag dili na need, okay lang dili mo draw a figure. And number two, identify what to maximize or what to minimize. Identify what quantity that you want to maximize or minimize. And number three, formulate the equation. Equation of that quantity that you want to maximize. And number four, reduce the equation to a single variable. Because in formulating an equation, sometimes it involves more than one variable, two or three variables. And you have to reduce the equation to a single variable before you will differentiate. And number five, differentiate the equation and then equate to zero. Uh, ang purpose uh, ni or ang reason behind ng equating zero is because when you differentiate a function uh, or the first derivative of function can be interpreted as a slope of a tangent line. So, kung tangent line sa niya equate ni mo zero ang yung slope, it means horizontal sa nga line. O, so, kung horizontal siya and you have a curve, tapos ang yung tangent line is horizontal, it means na kana na point, it's either the highest point or the lowest point. Mau nang maxima or minima. What's the reason ng ano equate sa og zero? Okay, sa slope man yun. After differentiating, you can now solve for the unknown variable. Okay, sometimes a problem ang variable mao sa tuwang unknown quantity. Ah, but there are also problems na lahi ang unknown quantity. So after solving the variable. You can now solve for the unknown quantity. Okay. So here's a simple problem. The sum of two numbers is 12. If the product of one, one here refers to one number. If the product of one number and the square of the other number is a maximum, find the maximum product. Okay. So Aside sa solution na or step na di present na moto atong guide in solving this problem, I'm going to share two alternate solutions. The first alternate solution, pwede ninyo magamit sa board exam in case na yung magawas ng problem, similar na ane. Hindi na ka kinahanglan mag-differentiate. Pwede to. Pero nai-limit. The second alternate solution, Ah, that's my technique. Okay, na I will explain later. Okay, so let's assume x be the smaller number and y be the bigger number. And we all know that the sum of x and y is twelve. Okay. So let's solve the problem. Step one. This will be our guide. Draw a figure if necessary. In this case, there is no need to draw a figure. Okay, number how many? So, still inapplicable. Okay. And let's proceed to number step two. Step two: identify what to maximize or minimize. Sometimes, very magliser the student. Oh, the student will have a hard time identifying the quantity. That will be maximized or minimized. 
So, focus on the problem and obvious that eh, na maximum product. Therefore, ang atong i-maximize dyan eh, is product. But there are problems na lisod po di identify. So, dapat sabdan nyo. Excuse me. Three, formulate equation. Oh, this equation is based on the quantity that you want to maximize. So, for this problem is the product. Kung saan man ang equation sa product dali? Uh, na sa problem dali na ang product da is if the product of one number and the square of the other number. So, mo ang equation. P is equal to x y squared. So, if you will ask, nga nung y ang squared? Because, gusto mo tayong maximum product, therefore, y should be the bigger number. Para dako ang mas square. Uh, so, this is the equation. And it's obvious that there are two variables. So, step four, reduce the equation to a single variable. So, to reduce, let's replace x in terms of y or y in terms of x. And okay lang na siya, kaya na given na uh, additional condition. 12. Okay, so, so, you will replace x. Because x is equal to 12 minus y. So, substitute to the And the equation is already, uh, it involves is one variable only. So, pwede na tayo differentiate. Now, when you differentiate the equation of P, um, case to case, ne, depende sa equation. So, for this one, must Easier man siya kung i-distribute niyo ang y squared. Di ba? So, i-distribute na ito. Oh. There are also cases na mas simple akong magamit ka ang product rule. Pwede sad. No? But for this one, mas easier kung i-distribute ang y squared. So, you have this one. And then, differentiate niyo. 12 times derivative of y squared 2y minus derivative of y cubed. 3y squared equal to 0. And then, cancel ang y. And then, 24 over 3 is 8. So, y equals 8. Muna itong variable, ha? Oh, dali. So, muna ni ang step 6. So, from this, makuha ni mong x. Substitute ni mo dali. If y is 8, then x equals 4. Pwede na tayo. You solve for the unknown quantity. The unknown quantity is the product. Find the maximum product. Uh, determine the value of P. Substitute ni mo dire. P, X equal to 4. Y equal to 8. And you have this answer. 256. Uh, okay. So, mo gini sa ang proper way of solving this problem. So, the advantage sa procedure is systematic ang solution. Dili ka magbalik-balik kay nakain na limitan. Step by step. Eh. Uh, the first alternate solution is by manual substitution. Okay. Um, ang common term ano sa review is tinamban. So, if you look at the equation, P equals x, y squared. And gusto tayo kakuha ang bigger na product, dapat ang y should be the bigger number. Right. So, para klaro, construct a table. And, kini no? So, choose two numbers na mo add, mo add up of 12. So, mo ano sila? 1 and 11, 2 and 10, 3 and 9, 4 and 8, 5 and 7, 6 and 6. After this, square ang y. Mga sa na siya. 11 square, 121, and so on. And then, uh, get the product. x times y squared. Mga So, by inspection, 
The maximum product is 256. Yang x equals 4, y equals 8. Okay. Okay, Niza. Kung gamay ang value sa sum. But what if kung ang problem is the sum of two numbers is equal to 60. Na tamang kag 30 dire. 1 to 30. Yan, 59 to 30 po. Dugi kay gamahuman. Mahalo itong oras niyo. So, case to case nila. Dili niyo pwede gamitin mo niyo ang tinamban kung dako na o value ang sum. The second alternate solution, ano na yung pinakasada? There is technique. Joke ra. Actually, kini nga technique, ang nakadiscover ano eh. Reviewin na mas ako na. Reviewin sa visibility ah. Tigo lang na siya. Siguro mga 10 years or 15 years older sa ako. And more nakapasal mo to siya po. Nakapasal daw. Palimot na ako. So, um, while I was solving this problem or similar in a problem, nakauna-una siya na yung technique. And medyo Nakurat ko kay sakto man siya. So, nag-try ko o gilahin ng condition. Sakto man yung hapon. Eh, nag-try na pag gilahin ng condition. Sakto man yung hapon. So, credit siya. Eh, Kalimot na ko sa name niya. Pero ako na lang nag-ibot na mag nilis technique. Ako naman nag-practice ko. Okay? So, dali rin niya. Wala rin one minute. Ane. Okay? And wala rin siya. Limit. Bahala pag dako ang sum. Oh, ano yung naka-unique na eh. Sige. Three steps lang. Pero dali rin niya. The first step is this. For the equation P equals X Y squared, all you have to do is add the exponents of X and Y. It's very simple. Add na ni mo. So by inspection, X equals 1. Add the exponent of X is 1. The exponent of Y is 2. So, i-add ni mo, the sum is 3. Diba? Simple lang. Step 2. I-divide the sum of the numbers. In this problem, it's 12. Diba? Divide ni mo by the sum of the exponents, which is 3. So, inayin niya. 12 divided by 3, it's 4. Quotient niya ang 4, no? And the last step is to solve for the values of x and y. Money bahata ni mo. Multiply the quotient in step two. This one, i multiply ni mo sa exponent sa variable. So for example, x x equals quotient times exponent niya one four y four times two eight. Ah, de ba? It's very simple. Of course, ang product, tali na lang. 4 times h squared is 256. Diba? So, maski pa og 60 to, dali ara. 60 divided by 3, 20. 20 times 1, 20 ang x, niya ang y, 20 times 2, 40. Kaya na ara. Diba? Sayo na kayo. Power kaya ang teknik ba? Pero joke na nga. Okay. Sa diskumpiado niya, ang mag-solve, taglahay ng problem. Eh? Ano lang na ito? Okay. Two numbers niya po, pero different na condition. The sum of two numbers is 15. Ang condition is this. The product of the square of one number and the cube of the other. That's the condition. Eh? And then, again, find the maximum product. So, the correct solution, using the given steps, sa gaganina, and again, x be the smaller number and y be the bigger number, the equation is this. And I think this is very simple, di ba? Square of one number and cube of the other. Oh. And then, reduce the equation to a single variable. You replace x. Mas ayun lang, no? Kaya yung exponent is 2. Kaya isa i-replace ni mga y, yung exponent 3. Uh, 
it will take time to expand. Okay, so you replace X, this one. Now, before you will differentiate, you have to choose, say, mong bahaton, eh? Oh. You may expand this one, this binomial, and then distribute to Y cube, like a ganina na problem, or you may use the product all, UV. The derivative of UV is equal to UDV plus VDU. Dependent na mo. Eh? Uh, for this one, ang uh, product all akong gigamit. Um, so, derivative of U. So, ang U an eh, is 15 minus y squared niya ang v na ko is y cubed. So the derivative of p is this. Uh, u derivative sa v, 3y squared plus v. Derivative, ano yun? Uh, simple naman, no? 2, 1 times derivative sa solod, which is negative 1. Okay. To solve for y, Pwede rin po, mano, 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 manual, cancel ni mo ng y squared, mga result ko, quadratic equation. So, to solve for y, yun mo yung quadratic formula or factoring. Pero high tech naman ron, kung nakakalkyo na high tech, uh, kaya rin eh, makas masolve na siya. The common one, ng shift solve, hindi ah, uh, you'll get y equal to 9. Yeah? Oh, and 15 minus 9 equals 6. So the maximum product is 26,244. <clears throat> Alternate solution 1, manual substitution again. Yan an eh. Oh. Uh, x squared na y cubed. So, mili ka doon ka numbers na yung sum is 15. Mga na sila. And the square ni mong x, cube ni mong y, and then, kuhaan ni mong product na nito ha, mga na sila. Mga na ba? And, uh, na raw, consistent, no? Okay. And the last one, the nearest technique. Joke again. Uh, step one, i-add na nimo. Sa yun na kayo. Five. Step two, i-divide again ang sum sa numbers. Fifteen. I-divide nimo sa sum sa exponent. Three. Ah, uh, five. The quotient is three. And step three, i-multiply ang quotient by the exponent of the variable. Ah, uh, di ba? Dali na kayo. Wala ka rin minute. Uh, okay. That's all. Thank you.